Okay, so today we're going to be doing typical docks things. We need to sacrifice some creatures. We need to kill some creatures. It's just going to be a whole lot of grinding as per usual. But it's going to be exciting because by the end of all this, we're going to have some really dope creatures and, and just things to use. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and evolve our little wyvern guy here. Which one is it? It's this one right here. So we've had this zombie wyvern for like a little while now, and uh, we're going to have to evolve this one and then immediately sacrifice it because I actually have no need for it. So all three of these items go in here. The prime death room head. I got that through the shine shine what shrine wow uh we have the the prime wyvern head oh oh no that's not good i don't like that apparently there's um i think that might be the titan queen okay anyway back to it uh that was a little bit scary not gonna lie um I actually don't know if it oh you know what it won't it won't matter leveling this thing because we don't really care uh so yeah we got this through killing a prime wyvern pretty simple and then we've got this from uh killing a prime dragon uh you can also get these from killing mega dragons as well now this thing is the same item that can increase the stats by 50 percent but i actually already have an ice one that can't be used in this so let's go ahead and do this and hit x coal oh okay yeah, yeah i forgot they actually evolve i was about to say like what the hell why did i get coal also, where did the coal go? I don't even have it. <laughs> what the? What is happening? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Crap. Okay, we actually have to raise up a wyvern here today. That is not very preferable. I thought we were just going to be able to immediately sacrifice it, but apparently not. I really need to get a tech generator. I don't even know if I have it unlocked yet. I think I might do, actually. So, I don't have any oil. Are you kidding? Okay. Okay. I need to go get some oil, clearly. I need a lot of things. So I'll just bring you guys back once this wyvern is uh, is ready to be sacrificed. I don't know if I can necessarily justify sacrificing it as a baby, but we'll see. Oh, actually, one thing I want to talk about while I grab some oil here is just another reminder about the fact that, um, you know, we're going to have the, uh, the Genesis DLC coming out very, very soon. And uh, again just want to remind people when it comes out you won't see docs for like a good while like genesis is my priority when it comes out like nothing else will literally be played on the channel for like a little while so i know most people will understand that and everything but you know there's gonna be some people that will constantly ask and i'm just i'm, I'm just saying it right now just so people know so yeah no more uh, no more docs for a little bit but it doesn't mean it's ending it just means it's going on hiatus i mean like I need to put everything else onto the back burner when Genesis comes out. Like, it has to be the priority because, I mean, hell, that's what people want to actually see, right? I know people care about other stuff too, but yeah, Genesis is, is going to be great. And plus, I'm going to probably be too excited playing that to really do anything else. I think I got all the oil nodes, right? I don't see any more. Mm, okay, we got a shark coming. Alrighty, so yeah, figured I'd just mention that real quick, and I'm going to get back to the grind. Oh! Oh my god, what? <laughs> That's where you are? Okay, these things don't just randomly attack, do they? I don't think they do. Jesus, dude, what the hell? It's like walking through... Oh my god. It's like walking through my freaking base. Oh my god, that is the most terrifying thing ever. Imagine like going through the water and just a gigantic spider's walking on the bottom of it. Like, what the hell? I thought, like, I figured it was close, but, like, I didn't know it was that close. I wanted to come in and have a little look. By the way, I still do uh, want to move up above. It's got, like, look at this. It's got freaking Arenio on its back. Somebody was saying that those are Mega Arenio just chilling on the back. Wait, is that a Broodmother over that side? That one over there kind of looks more like a brood. Oh, it is a Broodmother. What? So it's got a Mega Arenio and a Broodmother on it. Dude, this is the most terrifying thing ever. And, like... The Broodmother is honestly one of the cooler looking bosses. I don't care what you have to say. It really is like, I think this thing is way cooler than the, uh, than the dragon for sure. And, uh, probably cooler than the Manticore. I love the Broodmother and the Megapithecus. Probably the two best looking bosses in Ark. Uh, besides maybe the King Titan. Anyway, if, my point is, is like, this thing is already really cool and terrifying as, um, I probably shouldn't go near it. I don't think it can hurt me. I don't think it just randomly attacks. Also, it's got 10 million health. So even if it did, I just have to sacrifice this map to it and say, hey, this can be your map now. But um, what was I even saying? No, that thing's just terrifying. I like, I figured maybe it was up above or something, but like that is not really what I expected here today. <laughs> I'm glad that I had already started recording because that is 
That is definitely a moment that you want to catch on video. Anyway, um, guys, hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. Figured I'd mention that. I'm not sure if I already have, but uh, yeah, let me get back to it. Okay, so here's something else that I actually want to do. Um, so we have our ancient prime wyvern here, right? Okay, um, and now I have this. So this is essentially one of those 50% plus uh, little like headpieces. So we put one of these things onto our manticore and I know I have one for dragons. So this is one for wyverns. Um, so let's go ahead and do that then. So hit X, boom. So we should be, whoa, what the hell? Was that an actual attack? I'm so glad that the wyvern wasn't going by if that was the case. So hang on, okay. The best way to show this is probably just a, a we gotta, Put it away that way and then take it back out. Um, Ancient Prime Wyvern, here we go. Oh man, I'm so annoyed that we have to use the little admin mode on the cryo gun, but like, I'm just so fed up of like having a bunch of creatures like all over the place. It's so much nicer this way. Anyway, now you can see the stats are just so much better. 50% better to be precise. Um, where the hell did that queen go? I think it went that way. It's probably gone out into the ocean. Um, is that? Is that a Titan Manticore as well? Why is there two of them? How did the queen get over there? I didn't see it pass right through my base again. Oh my God, look at how it just scaled that freaking cliff. No way. Holy crap, is this a Titan Manticore though? Uh, maybe it's not, because we would have like an effect come in. Oh no, that is it, okay. Uh. Oh, 100% increased health. Wait, what? how the hell did you get over there so quick? You were over... Okay, wait, hang on a second. Is there two? How is there two? I thought there's only ever supposed to be one Titan in general. Oh, I might have an issue here. What the... Why is there two of them? Wait, hang on. Hang on a second. Hang on. Why do I see, like, things super far in the distance? What's that small thing right there? I think that might be a Titan dragon. I think we have an issue, guys. I think uh, there's there's a Titan overspawn... That right there is a Mega Reaper. Is that another Broodmother? Are you kidding me? Okay, I might need to fix this because I don't know how this is going to like affect everything. But um, yeah, no, that's a little bit terrifying. Uh, oh, hey, I've got a fan. Oh, I'm dead. Wow, yeah, this thing's actually pretty good. So let's just quickly have a little test. Uh, we've got the spitball. I like this, actually, if I can actually hit it. Boom. Oh, my God. Wait, hang on a second. I just did 54K. How? Really? Okay. I like that. I mean, that's pretty good. 54k. Um, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's kind of hard to aim, though. And also, it flew out. Wait, where does it fly from? What? Look at where it's going now. Like, I was... I guess it kind of goes wherever you're kind of, like, flying towards. So if you're, like, kind of, like, looking down, it goes down. I don't even understand. The aiming on these things are just very, very strange. Cause like, if you're flying forward and you shoot it, it just goes forward. That is a mega dragon. I do not want to fight a mega dragon. We do not, oh my God, it's, well, I do want to fight one eventually, but like, we're not ready now. I mean, I definitely can't kill that thing right now. Um, unless, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we could probably risk this wyvern, but that's probably a bad idea. I don't know. I don't know if that would be a good idea at all. Uh, I mean, I guess at the same time, like ancient wyvern is, it's a cool creature and all, but like, do we really need another flying creature? Wow, what the hell happened to this nest? I don't know. Maybe we'll we'll see if we can try and kill a uh, mega dragon at some point. But today, my priority is I want to actually hunt down a mega T-Rex after we get this whole uh, zombie wyvern thing sorted. And then after that, I want to try and look for a uh, mega dimorph because if I can get those two, that means I can evolve one of my dragons into a prime and then I can work towards making that into an ancient prime eventually, which is something that's gonna be great. There are so many stegos as always. I think ever since moving my little base thing up here, I think more stegos are spawning around the area and there's some inside of it. Wow, amazing. Okay, let's get back into the, oh, yeah, that's super hard to, to fly. This thing moves so fast. Okay, wait, are we good? We're good. All right, so this egg should be ready to hatch anyway, and uh, I'll get to it. I keep stalling. I, I keep just getting distracted by things. All right, let me get some stuff done. Oh, look, they're leaving. Okay, that's good. That's great. I'm happy that that's happening because I was getting really worried that I... Okay, yeah, what the hell? How does that even happen? How did... How is there four of them all leaving at the same time? Oh, it got picked up, right? don't even understand. Yeah, look at this. There's like, how many is that now? Like six, I think. 
Uh, Wyvern, here we go. Prime Wyvern. Okay, I'm wondering if I can. Oh, wait, no. Because I have to be mounted on it to use the sacrifice elixir so that definitely won't work i do need to just wait for this thing to be just fully grown up and then we can go ahead and sacrifice it so yeah i'll see you guys in a little bit and i'm so glad that all those titans left this arc because that would have been a nightmare all right so we've got a mega t-rex over here and we're gonna go ahead and try and kill it the wyvern's still actually growing up but i figure it's probably okay to leave so I've actually noticed recently that there's a lot less of these guys all over the place. Like there used to be just tons of them. I mean, there was a lake with like six of them in it at one point. And now there's like, I, I think I've only ever seen like two or three of them around the map. And I mean, I'm not checking all the map, but I'm checking a good amount of the map. So I don't know. Um, it's kind of weird. Oh, I wasn't, I actually didn't need to go into that little mode for that. Uh, do we have anything good in here? Prime B. Ooh, these are blueprints. Nice. Let me go ahead and just grab all this stuff. Alrighty, so, um, yeah, and also one more thing, actually, we, we did have a, uh, Mega Reaper and a Mega Rex in this, like, little spot right down there, so I don't know where they went, and also Rodan's here now, um, so that's kind of terrifying. <laughs> oh, an explore note. Anyway, so, yeah, we're gonna try and take out this, uh, this Mega Rex, and the reason why I'm gonna just use my character instead of, like, constantly using creatures is just, I don't think, I, I don't have anything that can take it on that's plain and simple like i don't have a creature that could actually like withstand a hit from this thing they do a lot of damage and it's kind of pointless to even you know use any of my creatures they're just gonna die also now it's moving super far away from where i have my bed so now we probably will need to chase it just a little bit um this is gonna be okay we're gonna be fine boom ow hurt a little bit but it's just a little flesh wound we're gonna be fine anyway um let me see can i catch up to it it's like going super far away now holy crap okay so we're gonna try and nuke it a lot obviously um i'll probably try and use oh i just opened an explorer note didn't i i don't i think it might be too far away oh there we go no i hit it okay uh now this is the attack what on earth are those things i'm i'm dead it's fine 51k and that was just one hit it shot like eight of them at me that's not okay <laughs> like holy crap that is beyond insanity. I mean, how the hell do you actually survive that? You just don't, I think. That's that's it. Uh, why did... Oh, my God. I have beds everywhere. They're all over the place. And now I've just spawned at some that are, like, a lot further away from where I want to be. All right. So I hope I heard it a little bit. I mean, I have to wait and see. Let's see. Where are you? There you are, bud. Okay, I don't really... Everything else needs to just leave me alone. Okay, I'm just gonna... A boom! <laughs> nice. All right, so I killed the terror bird as well, which is great. Um, let's just wait. Can, I think there's a spawn zone down here, isn't there? Wait, which one is it? No, that's that's a little bit further away. All right, we'll just we'll just uh, we'll spawn at this bed. I don't know what this one is, so we'll find out. Uh, oh, I think I remember this one. Yeah, this is from when I killed the death worm. Actually, this is kind of further away than i thought so yeah let's not spawn at that one again i should probably go around and pick them up to be honest or maybe Ooh, i got a good idea oh wait no that won't work you know what maybe it might work maybe we could just put down like a teleporter in case i spawn super far away or something like that so we could do that we could totally do that but uh yeah i think for the moment i'm just gonna constantly just run at this thing see what we can actually do to it and let's quickly repair our nuke launcher where is the T-Rex? I don't see it anymore. Would have been like around here, right? Oh, oh, what the? Oh, you're just a dead on. Okay, <laughs> I was about to say. Okay, no, let's not do that. We don't like that. All right, where the hell's the T-Rex gone? You see, this is the issue with the Megas. Like they're, oh, there it is. Wow, it's like all the way over here again. The issue is, is that like they're so fast. They just move a little bit and like they're super far away constantly. All right, here we go. Let's get it hit with uh, a nuke. Maybe we can hit it with a couple of these first. And then nuke time. I did it. I did it before I died, I think. <laughs> I guess we'll know in a second. So yeah, uh, this is going to be pretty much uh, what most of this video is going to be. So I'll just skip to when it's almost dead and then I'll bring you guys back. And hopefully we have some good times here because... Um, yeah, the, the King Kongs were very difficult to kill. They kept moving all over the place. How hurt are you? Yeah, we're actually really hurting it here. This is this is working out real well. Okay. Okay, so we're getting real close here. Are my beds damaged now? They are. What the hell damaged them? 
Couldn't have been the nukes. I mean, they're all the way down here. All right, well, anyway, yeah, this thing is, like, very close to death. I need to just run in on it and... Oh, wait, no, 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 we can't do that. I was about to say run in on it and just nuke it. But that's not a good idea, because if I do that, then I'm not going to get whatever item it potentially drops out. So we need to wait for it to stop and then try to just nuke it. Um, Come on, buddy, stop already. Okay, wait, wait, maybe I could just shoot one over there. <gasps> nope. Crap, I really hope that doesn't kill me. Although, wait... Mm, I guess the only thing that we need from killing one of these guys is the tech rooms because they don't actually drop an item that goes directly into your inventory. Okay, we might be okay here. I didn't even notice that my beds were hurt. What the hell? Oh my god, look at freaking Rodan just flying across the sky there. Uh, hello, are you... Oh my god, he's like, he's like extra healed. I think that one just gave him health or something. <laughs> All right, we might need to just fire one directly at him here. This should work, right? I should hit him, I think. I hope. Boom! Oh, he's very close to death. I did it! Yes! We got a tech door and a tech door frame. Dude, that's huge. Okay, amazing. Um, I, I never would have expected to have the tech door, a tech door frame engrams from this. This is the most amazing day ever, guys. I'm so happy about this. Look at all the good stuff that we got. Wait, is this... Ah, uh, they're not... I don't even know where I got the fat man from. Like, where did I get this from? Because I need more of these. I want to try and get a better one. I mean, this one's really good. Don't get me wrong. But, like, could you imagine if I could get a blueprint? And then just... Ooh. That's that's spicy. That would be very, very spicy. Anyway. Uh, let's just grab out all the goodies. I'm mostly going to leave a lot of this loot here. You guys know the deal. Uh, I guess I'll keep that. Sure, when... Why not? Whatever. Uh, we got another griffin. Ancient griffin, which is nice. Um, oh, wow. Amazing. Uh... <laughs> So, yeah, that's, that's cool. Well, yeah, we got a lot of really good loot there. And wait, did we get the special item? What did they drop again? Wait, what does the... No. What does the Mega T-Rex give you? Oh, it's the arm. Okay. Oh, that looks like the Raptor arms. Dude, that was... Oh, that is not okay. I, I thought for a second that we didn't get whatever we were supposed to get. Because... um Here, let me let me see. Wait. No, this is not where I want to be. I want to be in this folder and looking at the dragon. Is it the T-Rex arm? Yes, that's what we needed. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, we're working on the prime dragon, by the way. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. So now we also need to kill a mega dimorph. Um, and I think I know where one is. At least I did before. I'll have to go check and see if it's still there. That one's going to be a trickier kill, though, because it's flying. So I don't really know, like... I probably can't kill it with my flying creatures, but that would probably also be the best way of trying to kill it. If I can outrun it, I might be able to do it, though. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, and then we're going to need to sacrifice our ice dragon. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get rid of that. But, yeah, besides that, all we need is the uh, the Mega Dimorph uh, Tooth. And we actually need another one of those for the Prime Dimorph. We need the tooth and then an arm and then 150 blood. So... Not too difficult, you know, like, we can kill another Mega T-Rex. Apparently, they're not even that hard to kill when you nuke them, like, 20 times in the face. But, uh, yeah, so we can do that. We can totally do that. But just killing another Mega Dimorph is going to be a major pain. So I'm happy that we killed this guy, though. Goddamn. All right, sweet. So I'm going to put some of this loot back. And actually, our Wyvern's probably ready. So let me bring you guys back there as well. So let's just teleport back to home. Um, I feel like I tried to mention it earlier, but I do plan on actually moving all my stuff up to the base up above But I'm just a little bit lazy when it comes to that stuff. So we'll get to it Um, yeah instantly just gonna get rid of this like we have a better version We have an ancient version. So like even just you know, it wouldn't even make sense to actually even use this So there we go and it's gone and we got a prime wyvern heart relic and we got the token which is our eighth token for getting this mega t-rex so Two more, the Prime Dragon and the Prime Dimorph. So basically right now what I need to do is just hunt down like two Mega Dimorphs and kill them. Unless they give two teeth, which would be great. I don't know if they do. But um, yeah, two more of those. And then we can have the the Mega T-Rex Titan Killer creature. It's going to be great. I can't wait to have that. But um, yeah, we got a lot of stuff here to put away. Okay, so we have a Mega Dimorph floating up in the sky up there. And uh, oh my god, this griffin is beautiful. Wow, these are really good colors. What the hell? Wait, what colors are this thing? Cyan? How the hell is that cyan? That's like a green. I'm not colorblind, right? Like, that's definitely like a green or something. That's a really nice green, though. Um, I definitely have had this on a griffin before because we did like griffin mutations on a previous like super old series. Um, this is a really nice looking griffin. I feel bad at, at, like doing what I'm about to try and do, but here's my idea, right? So 
I'm thinking maybe we just make this griffin like the fastest griffin in the world. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're gonna... We're gonna go ahead and just see what happens when we pump every level into movement speed. And uh, here we go. Let's just make this griffin the fastest thing on Earth. So... Let's get it up to 500 and then just see how fast it actually is. And... There we go. Okay, how fast are you? So this is normal, like, flying speed. Okay. This is... Okay. It's pretty fast, but it's not as fast as I was kind of expecting. That's pretty nice and all, but I think we need to make it faster. I'm just going to pump all the levels in. And I know there's, like, a thing where if you, like, pump too many levels into the one stat, it, like... Uh, deletes the creature or whatever. Um, I'm okay with that happens. Like, this is my secondary griffin. My idea is... Oh, my God, dude. This is over a 1,000 speed. Wow. Okay, hang on. Oh! Oh, this is pretty fast, actually, for just normal uh, flying speed. Nice. So, my idea is uh, we're going to go ahead and just poke the bear constantly on the back of this griffin. What on earth? Oh, my God. I'm, like, drifting in the air because it's hard to turn. Look at this. Okay, hang on. Wait, wait, let's... Let's just like do a little fly around this mountain up ahead here. So the volcano or whatever. Um, oh my God, there's a lot of griffins over there. What? We could just like drift around. Look at this. This is insane. I'm just drifting around a mountain. Oh my God. People say Ark's dead. Look at this. Look at what you can do in this game. You can't do this in other games. Oh man. All right. Anyway, let's... Uh, okay, where the hell did the Dimorph even go now? Oh my God, I lost it, didn't I? Where is it? Wow. Okay. Uh, I actually don't know where it went. Oh, no. <laughs> Crap. Where did you go, buddy? Uh, why? Okay, let me go find it. Okay, I'm going to be completely honest. I have no idea where this thing went. Like, did it fly into the lava and die or something? Like, this is so confusing, actually. Let me go check, just because I'm very, very confused here. Um, like, what? Where did it go? It was there, and then it wasn't. Why did I drift around the mountain? We had a freaking dimorph. Oh, look. Okay. So, obviously, if trikes can swim in lava, then clearly it doesn't do any damage or much damage, if anything. So, I don't really understand where this thing actually went. Like, it just seemed to have despawned, which is just so odd. So, cool. Yeah, that's the only one that I knew of. So, great. Now, we need to go find another one. Oh, my God. Really? Oh, my God. Ah, uh, man, that is so annoying. All right, well, anyway, let me go check this little volcanic island. I mean, it doesn't matter if anything comes after me. I can definitely outspeed it. <laughs> so let's go see if this works out. Oh, hello. Um, all right, what do we have over here? Probably a crap ton of dangerous creatures, eh? All righty, please at least have one over here for me. That would be great. Uh, what? What? How? Why? That's not the same one, is it? I don't think it is. I think the other one had just shy of 400k health. Why is that in the water? Dimorphs aren't usually water creatures. <laughs> All right. Well, let me see if I can nuke this thing then. I mean, like, I have no idea. Oh, it's not actually in the water, apparently. It's just floating on the top. Okay. That was weird. It almost looked as if it was in the water. Or maybe it was, and maybe it came out. I'm very, very confused. Oh, you know what? We need to land for some stamina. Oh, wow. That's one thing. I pumped all the levels into movement speed, but not a single level into stam. All right, let's land. Oh, that is neat looking. What is that? Like element water from like aberration? Kind of looks like it. Oh my God, this thing even runs super fast as well. I mean, obviously that was going to happen, but like, holy crap though. This thing would be terrifying. All right. Um, so yeah, we're going to we're gonna try and do this. I mean, the griffin's probably... Well, no, the griffin's definitely going to die. Let me just say that. Um, but it's okay. It's okay if it, if it happens. Maybe I can even try and lead the Dimorph into like a cave or something. I don't know. I don't really know of any caves around this area, but maybe we can lead it. So let me, let me go ahead and just, oh, wow, okay. Okay, so apparently we're not close enough. Either that or it's, oh, is it like, it's not. It's not like freaking projectile proof now, is it? Oh, it's not. <gasps> it's, ooh, okay. <laughs> All right, let's just, uh, let's lead it slow and steady over here. I know a cave that we can go to. It's the one that I said we were going to move to, and then I never did. <laughs> Reason why I did was mainly just, you know, I was just thinking, like, I like the area that we're in better than that area, so, yeah. Um, let me see. Is this thing honestly, like, de -aggroed? Oh! Ooh, okay. It's, it's not, it's aggroed to me, but it's not actually, like, it's not, like, you know, red. <laughs> which is weird. 
I kind of wish you could like turn around and shoot off the back of, of the griffin. That would be great. Um, gotta watch out for the mega fireballs because that would be terrifying. Uh, well, we hurt you a little bit. 5k down. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, we definitely will need to just try and get it into the cave and then just start nuking it. I don't know if that is even going to work, though. I mean, like, it's probably just going to... Oh, wow. Okay, hang on. <laughs> it's not even what I meant to do. Uh, it's probably just going to be, like, a major pain to kill no matter what. So, you know what? Let me just hit him a couple times. And then I can maybe see if we can nuke it, like, here. Because what we could do is if we can get it close enough to, like, a cliff or something, we can probably just, like, shoot a nuke at the cliff. Oh. Oh, wow. No, it killed me. Rip. <laughs> it has uh minions or did that say consume soul i think it probably has the little guys that come after you so that's that's not okay i was not expecting that but i guess i should have been so that's uh that's my bad all righty well yeah i don't know how we're gonna kill this but i'm gonna just continuously try to get it close to the land so yeah see you guys in a little bit <laughs> oh great hello can you like not be a thing please let me hit you with this instead. It's kind of flying towards the ground here. And also, Rodan is like green now. I thought it was blue before. Ah, man. Come on down. Maybe I should just shoot a nuke up into the sky and hopefully not hit Rodan. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. You know what? Could I just maybe shoot a nuke? I'm just... I'm going to shoot one and see what happens. It might actually hit it, to be honest. They've got a pretty large blast radius. No, never mind. It just flew off into the opposite direction. Boom. Oh my dude, that is crazy looking. I don't think I've ever actually properly seen that happen. That is cool. All right. Yeah, we're going to have to get its attention anyway. All right. So we're kind of getting down to the end of it here. You can actually get headshots on them for like 8k damage or something. Let me see if I can get a couple more in here. Oh, it's so close to death. Oh my God. I just need to hit it like one or two more times. <gasps> no. Oh, it killed me. No. Oh, we need to do that another time now. Luckily, there's that super high up point right there. That is perfect because, like, it seems to kind of fly at a certain level usually. And you just can't hit it from the ground. Oh, that was so epic, though. Could you imagine if I actually did get it killed there? That would have been the most epic scene ever. Oh, my. it's It's got, like, no health. I definitely can't hit it from here, though. No, thought so. All right, we need to get back up there now. Great. We also have this freaking, what is this? Oh, it's a prime. Okay. Oh, hang on a second. You look a little bit close. Oh, wait. Do you look a little bit closer to the ground, or is that just me? Probably not. Uh, Do we have this thing reloaded? There we go. Okay. Let me get back up here. All right. We're up at the altar where you have to kill the Mega Dimorph. Let's see if I can do it. It's already healed tons, by the way. Like, these things heal very, very quick. Come on. Okay. I need to jump off. No. Ah, oh, it killed me with the thing. I didn't jump off soon enough. Although, I did shoot that thing, and you can't really avoid those. All right, couple more tries, and I should be able to get this thing killed. All right, here we go. Boom. And... Did it. I got the... I did not get any Tecrums. It's too far away. Are you... No, <laughs> it's fine. I mean, we do have to kill another one at some stage, but that is a little bit annoying. I'm not sure which Tecrums it gives. I do know, by the way, like, people being spamming about, like, a, a list of Tecrums. I've seen it. Don't worry. I actually have it saved now. But, uh, thank you. <laughs> Where did it land? Is this it here? I think so. What the hell? Oh, no. Hang on. Wait, what? Oh, no. It's all glitchy. Oh, wait. No, I can get to it. Okay, that's good. Um, okay, I'm just going to take it all. There we go. Get off of me. All right. You know what? Take this. What? Oh, I was about to say it didn't kill him. Okay, no. We got him in the end. Awesome. So, yeah, I didn't get the Tacrums, but that's okay. I should have got that Dimorph Tooth. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we got it. Let's get back to base where it's safe. Unless there's freaking Titan Broodmothers flying through again. That's not good. I don't think so. Um, all right. Let's see. Did we get the tooth? Is this it? That's the Dibur tooth. Oh, this. Oh, we got two of them. Oh, my. Yes. Oh, I didn't think I'd get two. But I'm very glad that we did. Dude, that means that all I need to do now. Oh, that's huge. All I need to do is kill another mega t-rex and then that's it we have the mega dragon the mega or not mega the prime dragon the prime uh dimorph and then we'll have the prime uh rex or whatever you call it i think that's what it's called right 
probably Mega Rex. Okay. So we'll have this. All we need to do in the next episode is make a Prime Dragon and a Prime Dimorph. And we're probably going to immediately get rid of the Dimorph because we already have an ancient version of this. So it's not very important if we if we already have a better version. So it's kind of the exact same as like the Wyvern that we made here today. But the Prime Dragon is very exciting. And I don't feel like doing that right at the very end of a video. Instead, we're going to we're gonna wait till the next episode and then do it in that video. But guys... Oh my god, this has been a crazy day of killing. I need to go ahead and check and see which tech rooms I missed out on by not actually being too close to that thing. But uh, that is incredible. I can't believe that we did all this stuff here today. We are so close to getting this freaking Mega Rex. I am so excited. So guys, go ahead, do me a favor. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this one. And uh, subscribe to all the good stuff. And I'll catch you in the next one.